turn things in a way that will make sure that there's enough for everyone. Um, but those two mindsets um, play a very different role in people's success. And uh, you can always tell someone who has an abundant mindset because they're always so generous, especially with their network and especially with resources. Um, but I'm really interested in how you develop that. How do you cultivate that? How do you, how do you become the kind of leader that is willing and that wants to give back because you know that that makes the world larger? God, where do I start? Um, I was really fortunate as a young girl to participate a lot in a lot of different assisting and volunteering programs from the time I was young. Um, and so it just being of service and getting the whole concept of contributing, you know, as a human being to the planet really allowed for this to kind of start to percolate. And about I don't know, uh, in 1998, I read a book called Simple Abundance. Does anybody, any Sarah Van Bronick fans out here? Okay, so Sarah Van Bronick, if you don't know this, write this down. She wrote Simple Abundance in a book called Something More. And she imparts the reader to challenge you with having a life that is a, that is a reflection of your authentic self. And actually, Authentic Beauty came out from that because the question then is, what should you look like in your authentic life? It's another whole question. But in her principles of simple abundance, the first one is gratitude. And you can imagine that from being a single mother for a long time, there wasn't a whole lot of money in, in that area for me. And in her book, she starts with finding the gratitude. And it, Sarah was actually the woman who taught Oprah about gratitude. She's been on Oprah probably 25 times now. And so Oprah, every Thanksgiving, thanks Sarah for teaching her about gratitude. And I've gotten to do workshops, and I'm a certified workshop for, leader for her. And just in engaging with just that principle of gratitude, you find the magic everywhere. And you find how much there is in just such a little bit. And I have been able to just find that in my heart and expand on it. And I think that there's plenty to go around. And I think that you actually get so much more by giving and so much more by having an open heart. I don't ever, I, I, I can, whenever I feel myself closing down or feeling protected, I have to work to open it up because I know nothing good's from shutting it down. Nothing good comes from shutting it down. So I just encourage everybody to continue to, be, to open your heart and keep opening up to being connected and to finding the gratitude in every little situation.